Hey guys, it's Sakura again, bringing you another real basic text animation tutorial. Alright, to start off with, let's open a new document, whatever size you like. I'm going to show you how to make text fade. Um, you can either have it fade out and then in, or in and then out, vice versa, whichever you want. So, let's start... Let's go ahead and fill this background with black so you'll be able to see it. Alright, let's type something here. Fade effect. There we go. Choose whatever color you like. Do whatever you like. For this, we're going to add some nice outer glow. Choose a color that really complements this. That's a nice blue. Alright, you can pretty much add anything you want. You can add a gradient, whatever you want. I wouldn't add too much because then it just gets real messy. So we're just going to go with this. Maybe bring the size up a little. Not that much though. Put it here. Alright, this is our text. Now we're going to go open our animation window by going to Window and Animation. Make sure anything your editing on your text is done before you start animation. All your editing needs to be done in this first frame. If you do animation and then decide later you want your text a different color, it's just a real pain to change it. Something always goes wrong with me. I don't know about you, but just make sure everything is complete before you have, before you start your animation. It's just, it makes it so much easier. Alright, what we're going to do we're going to drop this first frame down to 0%. You can have it at, I would say anything below 10% is nice. I always do mine at 0, so it comes from nowhere, basically. Alright, we're going to duplicate the frame, and we're going to bring this up to a much higher opacity, whatever you like. I'm going to go with 84. Okay. Now we're going to tween previous frame, of course. We're going to add 10 frames, that's a decent amount, some decent detail with not that much file size being taken up. Press OK. And as you can see, when I click through, it kind of fades. So I, of course, forgot to change the time on my first frame again, so we're going to select all frames and choose the time you like. I'm going to go with 0.2, of course. I seem to like that. So go ahead and press play. Here's what we have so far. It kind of it comes out of nowhere, and then it just restarts all of a sudden. I don't like that, so we're going to stop this. Come down here. Duplicate the layer three times. So one, two, three. I do this because when it gets to this point right here, where it's completely in there, I like it to stay there for a few seconds. This is totally whatever you prefer. If you want it to disappear right away after it gets there, then duplicate it once and then follow the next steps. I personally like it to stay there for a few seconds, it just so people can read what I'm actually typing. So we'll have it stay there for about a couple seconds. Go to the last frame right here and drop the opacity down to zero. Whatever you made your first frame's opacity is what you're going to make this frame's opacity. They need to match. It's very important. All right, we're going to tween. Same 10 layers, previous frame, okay. And we have all these frames here. Now let's go start it and see what we have. See, now it comes in, and it goes away. But when it gets all the way in here, it stays for a couple seconds, and that's nice. People can actually read it. This is just a real basic fading effect. Um, it's nothing major. These are all just real basic tutorials to kind of help you learn animation. And I'm still learning how to create video tutorials. So work with me here. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what I'm doing right. And go ahead and comment and like the video, dislike the video if you absolutely hate it and hate my guts, then dislike it, please, but just <laughs> let me know. Thanks, guys. Oh, before I go, 
to save. You need to save for web and devices. If you do not do this, you will not be able to upload this animation. Make sure the looping options are on forever. If you only want it to show once every time someone goes and looks at the signature, then that's fine. You'll play it, and it'll stop. And that's all you get. It appears once, that's it. If you put it on forever, and you play it, and it goes through, fades away, and it comes back, and it'll do that over and over and over. I always put my animations on forever, so no matter how long you look at the signature, it's still doing its animation. So here's where you will save, and this is the file you will upload on Photobucket or wherever you upload. It doesn't really matter. As long as you upload this file after you save it from here, you're good. You will also need to save it as a Photoshop document. Make sure you do this, because saving for web and devices will not do that, and if you close this, you will lose your entire file here. All you will have is that animated signature, and it's very depressing. So please, remember to save. Have a good day, guys. Please remember, comment what I'm doing good, what I'm not doing good at. If you hate me, if you love me and want to see more, just let me know how you feel. Feel free to ask for any help ever. I'm always on. I can always reply to you as soon as possible. Thanks, guys.